If you are building your VR experience for Android, you will need to have an Android SDK. In order to get it, you will need to download an Android Studio. So check under the video in the description box to get the link. It's a direct link to download the Android Studio. Find the download Android Studio button. Uh, just click it, it will automatically select your platform. Uh, here you will need to accept the agreement. So click agree and download Android Studio. Here in the Android Studio installer, if you scroll down, you will find the requirements here. Here they are. And you will notice that there is no JDK or JRE anymore. They were required before. For example, Windows and Linux required to have JDK installed and uh, Mac additionally required to have JRE Java Runtime Environment, but now there are no such requirements. I will cover JDK and JRE just in case, for example, if you're using an older version of Android Studio, but if you just download the newest one, you can skip this material. Let's install it. It may take some time. When it's installed, go to Applications and open it. So when it's opened, we go to Configure, SDK Manager, and here we proceed to SDK Tools. And we should make sure that Google Web Driver is enabled. Uh, so if it's uh, if the check mark is here, it means it's installed. Uh, but if it's not, you should uh, check it to make sure you install it. Well, you should check and install it. Uh, why it's important? It will help to connect your Android device to your uh, computer. For example, um, uh, and also an important thing is I, I forgot to mention, don't forget to uninstall all the sync software, for example, Android transfer, because it may cause connectivity issues. So, for example, when I had Android transfer installed, it just didn't work. So I had to uninstall everything. So make sure you do it. Another thing I wanted to show you is where to check the packages. So show, uh, show package details. Here you can see the um, SDK tools, SDK packages, um, which ones are installed, which ones are not. And one more thing I wanted to show you is where to look for your Android SDK, SDK location. So it's here on top, you see? Here. You may need it uh, as well if you have some issues. Uh, you would need to check and to fill out the right Android SDK location in, inside Unity. But I will cover it later in the next episodes. And we can click OK. Don't forget to put the like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll see if we need to download JDK and JRE, learn how to enable the developer mode on Android and more. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.